Guess what we're doing today? So you guys have been waiting all this time. Now is the time we are going to tell you about the story of how we got Eleanor the Husky puppy. So my husband and I had decided that this was going to be the year to add a new dog to the house, but we weren't sure if we were going to be getting a rescue or a puppy. And in all honesty, I look for dogs all the time, whether we're ready or not ready. And I know a lot of really responsible, reputable Siberian Husky breeders, but I also work with Husky rescues a lot. So we're kind of always looking. I talk to a lot of my breeder friends and many times when I see litters, I'll send them messages, ask if they're spoken for, which I'm usually told, yeah, they're spoken for, but I can always get added to a waiting list. So I saw this litter that was born and I was watching it really closely because one of the puppies I really, really liked, and I finally reached out and asked if any of them were available, to which I was told there was one of it, might be one available, but it wasn't necessarily the one that I was interested in, but there was another female that might become available. So I kind of did what I always did and I just moved on. Like I said, lots of these people are friends of mine, so I just kind of, meh, okay, and I moved on. A few weeks later, I got this photo and I was asked if I was interested in charm. Yes, that is what they were calling her. The entire litter was actually magic themed names. And of course, I was instantly in love, which how could you not be? I told my friend who sent me the picture that we had to sleep on it and we would decide and let her know by morning because I didn't want to hold them up if she could end up going to somebody else. So Jamie and I made a really big pros and cons list, but in the morning we both woke up and decided that she was going to be our new addition. This is part of the reason why I was telling everybody we pretty much had less than a week to prepare for this puppy. When we found out we were getting her, she was already eight weeks old. And there was a little bit of logistical issues. She was all the way in Colorado. We're all the way in northern Michigan. It's a 22 hour drive to get to where she was, plus we'd have to drive back. So for a few days, we were trying to figure out the logistics of how to actually get her to us, and we actually ended up using a puppy transport service that is run by a friend of the breeder that we got Eleanor from. They actually picked up two of the puppies from the litter and drove them from Colorado all the way to Toledo, Ohio, and I drove down to pick her up in Ohio. They arrived around midnight, I got like less than three hours of sleep in the hotel with a puppy that had been riding in a car for what felt like forever, she needed lots of playtime, and then I got up super early and I raced a snowstorm home. If you guys want to see that entire video, it's over on the Snow Dogs Vlogs channel. So yeah, that's basically how we got Eleanor. We weren't really expecting to get a puppy, I was thinking we were going to get a puppy in like spring, because you know it's winter time here and I didn't really want to potty train a puppy in the winter time, but Things just kind of worked out the way they did, and we could not be more happy with how they turned out. You know, it, it turned out amazing. The breeder is a friend of ours. I, I talked to her, and I've been sending her pictures of the puppy and things like that, and it's actually been, you know, pretty amazing. So now, let's get on to some of the other questions that I've seen you guys posting in the comments. The first question, which I've seen so many times, is what breed is she? <laughs> Eleanor is a purebred champion bloodline AKC registered Siberian Husky. Yes, she really is a Siberian Husky. I know that many of you in the comments seem to think she's mixed or she's some other breed, but she is 100% Siberian Husky. Her coat color is called a Goody or a Gouty, depending on how you say it. Uh, sometimes people also call it wolf gray, and it is actually one of the oldest coat patterns in existence. And no, it's, it's not rare, and it's also not only Siberian Huskies that can have this coat pattern. Here are some photos of her parents, so you can see the two different types of coat patterns that her parents were. You can see that one was the agouti coat, and one was not. <laughs> Aren't they beautiful? So yes, she 100% is a Siberian Husky. Another question I've seen you guys posting is what's wrong with her eyes, or is she blind? So many questions about her eyes. She has what is called heterochromia, which means she has two different colored eyes. One is brown, one is blue. No, she's not blind. She can see perfectly fine. Heterochromia is a hereditary trait, and it's actually fairly common in the Siberian Husky breed. For those of you that have followed us for a long time, our friend Thor from Thor Unleashed also has two different color eyes. When is Eleanor's birthday? So Eleanor was born November 20th, 2021. She's a fall puppy. <laughs> uh, and yes, because she was born in the fall, that means we got to bring her home in the winter. And potty training in the snow and ice has been uh, 
interesting to say the least. And yes, that's definitely sarcasm. It's cold out there. It's cold to be standing out there and trying to potty train a puppy. I'm not used to that. <laughs> uh, so what is Eleanor's full name? Because Eleanor is an AKC registered Siberian Husky, we come up with a full name for her. If you don't know, Memphis's full name is Highlander's Memphis Bell. Kira's full name is Ninkasi's Empress Kira. <laughs> and then Eleanor, I'm not going to say the breeder name just yet because I don't want everybody like blowing up their phones and trying to get puppies from them. So we'll, we'll keep that to ourselves for a little bit. Unless the breeder wants to share that on her own because she does watch the videos. But Eleanor's full name will be Eleanor the Enchantress. The breeder, who, as I said earlier, is a friend of ours, wanted everybody to try to keep the magic theme within the names, so we thought that was really, really cute. And it kind of goes with, you know, Kira's an empress and, you know, things like that. Speaking of, where did Eleanor's name come from? So some of you have already figured this out. Eleanor was actually named after the 1967 Shelby Mustang GT500 from the movie Gone in 60 Seconds, starring Nicolas Cage. There she is. Yep, there's Eleanor. And yes, that is the car that Shelby was named after. Shelby's registered name was Shelby Mustang, for those of you that don't know. That was the car that Shelby was named after. And yes, Memphis's name is from that movie as well, Memphis Reigns in the movie. Shortly after Shelby passed away, Jamie and I actually talked about naming the next dog Eleanor. And when we said yes to taking her, we both just kind of agreed that that was going to be the name. And early on, we thought we would shorten it and call her Elle or Ella. I wasn't too keen on Ellie. I feel like Ellie is a small dog name. But uh, as she's been here the past couple weeks, I pretty much just call her Eleanor and Jamie pretty much just calls her Eleanor. So apparently we're not really giving her a nickname. It's just Eleanor. There's Eleanor. Some of you have been asking if and when we will get Eleanor spayed. So we will decide that in the future, but we will be waiting until she is at least one year old, just like we did with Kira, because she will be a working dog and we wanna make sure that all of her growth plates are properly closed before we go through and get her spayed. We want her to be fully formed. Uh, this is something that you should talk to your vet about and then definitely do your own research as well and learn about the difference between early spaying neuter versus waiting until they're a year old. Some people choose to wait till they're two years old. This is something we have talked to pretty much all of our breeders about and we are going to be waiting till she's at least a year old. But again, we'll decide that in the future. That's for future us to decide. How did we pick her color? So all of our dogs have their own collar color, their collar, their harness, their leashes are all a certain color. And honestly, we almost picked blue for her. And then I was leaning towards yellow. But once I saw her and we got her, I thought, ah, you know what? She's a fall puppy. And I decided to go with orange, which actually looks really, really nice on her coat color. And for those wondering, Memphis's color is green and Kira's color is pink. So I am sure I forgot to answer a ton of things for you guys. So if you have more questions, you can leave them down in the comments below. Uh, I hope to start doing more Q&A videos in the future and more live streams where we can talk to you guys and kind of answer more questions like this. And again, if you want to see more videos of Eleanor growing up, we also have the vlog channel over at Snow Dogs Vlogs, which I will link down in the video description below. And there's also a link down there to our Beacons page. At the top of that page, there's a bunch of little icons with all of our other social sites that you should totally be following so you can get all of your puppy content. How many of you are actually following us on Instagram? We, we try to post a lot on Instagram, including, like, you know, like short little reels. TikTok as well. Just saying. <laughs> so there will be some links on the screen to some more fun videos for you guys to watch as well. We hope you guys have a wonderful day. Thanks so much for watching. Thanks for subscribing. Stay positive. Dream big. And we will see you again soon. Goodbye, pie